Hi, my name is Tech Schwantner, and I use a variety of Twitter automation tools to enhance uh, my ability to market effectively on Twitter, and have used Hummingbird and uh, Twitter Friend Adder and a variety of other solutions. I actually own those two, and I've tested a bunch of others. Recently, ran into Tweet Adder, and there were some things that were intriguing there, so I went ahead and bought a version of this software also. And so I wanted to do with it what I've done with the others and just give you insight into the reasons why I feel like Twitter, uh, Tweet Adder could very well be the best solution that's available currently. Now, this is a dynamic environment. Software continually used to evolve pretty rapidly here, but, but I just wanted to give you an opportunity to kind of get my insight into things. And if it made sense for you too, then um, you can decide whether it's the best solution for you also. So what's what exactly does Tweet Adder do? Well, first of all, it's an it, it automates the process of finding targeted friends for you to follow. You can do this by searching uh, for keywords within tweets, which is my favorite way to do things because that way I can see what people are talking about and then target their their user ID based on that. You can also search their bios, which is another good way to do it. Don't use that one as often, but I do use it. Uh, you can find using Twillow or some other program, you can find people that are targeted for the niche that you want to uh, gather followers for and you can follow that person's followers or you can follow that person's followings, the people they're following if you will. And one cool thing is, especially if you're a local environment, you're trying to, you know, you have a restaurant or a local business, it also allows you to search and locate uh, friends within a specific geographic area so within a range of miles within a geographic area which is really cool and <clears throat> so that's the first thing you got to find who the people that you want to follow then you need something that's going to help you actually automate the following process for those followers so once you decide on that you create a list of people basically and and we can jump to the software for just a second just so you can get an idea what it looks like but basically who were who to follow so here you can see you're going to get your list and it builds a list of people over here and right now for this particular user I've got 3200 uh, people that are queued up to be followed at whatever time I decide to follow them now so that's the first thing so now I'm going to actually I'm going to tell it like I've got a list of people that it's queued up to be followed now I want to do the following process one of the key things that you have to have with Twitter nowadays is you have to have a maximum follows per day. So if for virtually anybody that's doing it now, I think pretty much the follow maximum is 500. I don't know if that's a published number for sure or not, but it was 1,000 for a while, or actually it was unlimited almost for a while, or at least a, it was limited to the number of, of people you had as followers and a, and a ratio there. Now it's pretty much set that no matter how many followers you have, you're not going to be able to add more than 500 people that you want to follow that particular day. It also has the ability, which I haven't seen any other solution to do this before, it has the ability to actually establish that ratio and it'll start following people and then it'll end following people as soon as it hits the ratio. So if you're trying to keep a one to one point you know, for I've got a 10,000 followers, and I want to keep my following at no more than you know 11,000 people that I'm following. It'll automatically stop there when it gets there. And this is going to be more important as we go down the path because this software does have a feature that allows you to set this up and automate everything to the point where you can set it up and forget about it. And then another thing that it does that I like a lot is it establishes a time delay between follows so that in fact you can randomly choose say between 2 and 10 seconds and so then it'll, you know, one time it'll use 2 seconds, one time it'll use 10 seconds, another time it'll use 6 seconds. So it's trying to emulate a person as much as possible. And again, this software, one of the, in fact, the unique thing that attracted me to it is is that it actually allows you to set and forget. If you give it enough people to follow you know, if you have enough of a queue to follow for a week, as an example, which if you can only follow 500 people a day, 500 times 7 is 3,500. So if you've got 3,500 people in your queue to, to be followed, you can set it and forget about it for an entire week, and it's just going to continue to go out there and, and do its follows. Very cool. Okay, it'll also do follow backs, and what I mean by that is is that if it sees somebody's following you, you haven't followed them back yet, it'll automatically do that, and you can set those to do however you want. I don't do that. I don't automatically follow back. I like to keep a, a gap between the number of followers and the number of people I'm following. I typically like to have 
more followers than people I'm following, but it, it can vary depending on where I am in the cycle, if you will. So it has that functionality. I don't use it. Uh, it does have the, uh, the ability, obviously, to do the automatic unfollow process. And again, you can set the maximum number of unfollows per day, which is actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> I don't like to, you know, unfollow thousands of people from one of my accounts all at once that I'm not following back. So it does control that. You can also, again, establish that same ratio between followers and people you're following. It has the ability to have a time delay again so that it looks more natural from the unfollowing standpoint. It does allow you to kind of set and forget, so it's part of the total automation if you choose to go that way. Uh, it also has the ability to only unfollow people that Tweet Adder itself has done the following for. So if you're going from a manual system to this system, or if you're going from another automated system to this system, you can set it up so it doesn't unfollow any of the people you had prior to starting to use Tweet Adder. And a really neat step that it has in there is that you can establish the number of days between when Tweet Adder ad followed somebody for you, and then before it'll try to unfollow that person, which is really nice. So now you're not you're not going to be churning quite so much. So if you followed 500 people uh, with Tweet Adder, then you say every you know, the fourth day you want to start unfollowing the people that haven't followed you back. That's a pretty big gap there between before it starts the unfollow for that group of people. It also has the ability to unfollow everyone except for the safe list, and you create the safe list. And so if you've got a list of people you never want to unfollow, then you can put that in a safe list, and it'll respect that. It also does automatic uh, direct messages. Um, it can sort of do a direct message based on when somebody follows you. It's more a case of when you do it. You can send it out to the oldest, the newest, today's or this week's people that have just followed you. So you have some control. So it can be an automated. I'm not into any kind of automated direct messages. Uh, I, I get tons of them. And as a result, I don't ever use this functionality. It's there for those of you that want to use it. You've got a lot of control over it. You can have different direct messages. It'll just go through the list and, and pick them. And so it's, it's very powerful, but I don't like automatically sending out DMs. I think that's designed. For me personally, I like to use that as a direct communication with somebody so I don't abuse it. It also does have the ability to do automatic tweets, however, and this I do use. There's going to be times when I want to be able to send out an automatic tweet and, and appear to be sending out something unique, and it is actually unique, but not have to actually be sitting at my computer. So, for example, one of my niches is golfers, and I have a, a, a library of jokes that I've accumulated over the time, and, and I've got those all in a great big list, and it randomly goes through and grabs those and, and sends those out for me. Same thing with I a, have a very large law of attraction following, and I have a lot of quotes there that I've developed over the time that I've been doing this. And so it is automatically tweeting those for me also. They're all unique. They're all separate content. They're not junk, but it's just automating that process so that I can spend my time with the, you know, replying to people, etc. It does allow you to control the maximum number of tweets per day on that also. And then you can also set it up to auto replies for you. I don't use this at all. I don't really understand how this could be very valuable, but I'm sure somebody's found a way to use it where if you get a reply, if someone tweets you, you'll automatically reply back to them uh, and pick from a list of, of possible uh, replies. Again, unless you were just trying to reply to somebody say you're not available right now, I'm not sure how you would use that. I don't use it. So, uh, And then finally, everything that we've talked about so far has the ability to be fully automated and, and pretty much set up to run on a scheduled basis daily for the various different accounts you might be supporting. It is a multiple account product. It supports multiple accounts. So you can schedule and go through this whole thing uh, and have everything automatic. Okay, why is Tweetator better than the other products out there? Again, I've got personal experience with Hummingbird. I have personal expense, uh, experience with Twitter Friend Adder. Both of them are excellent products. Uh, the reason why I think this one's better is it has top search options. It has all the different options, and it builds the list of IDs for you so you can set them up. It does the auto follow and follow limits and ratios better than anything else I've out there, so it, it makes it more automatic. It has the automatic tweets for me, so I've got that capability, which is actually very useful in my particular instance, and it might be useful for you too, to set up these, not canned things, but things that I, I know I want to send out, then I've got a list of them, and I just don't want to have to do it manually myself. But the biggest thing that it does that I bought it for was that you can set it up and forget about it with the, moving it down to a, to a limit of only 500 tweet or uh, follows a day means that I really need to be able to stay on top of this and the software does it for me. 
and that's why I like it best.